Let's begin with our top focus being the UK as Britain has now launched a new coronavirus task force in order to step up efforts to make a vaccine available to treat the deadly COVID-19 disease. The task force, which is reporting to Business Secretary Alok Sharma, will be led by leading British physician Sir Patrick Valens and Professor Jonathan Van Tam. Now, Britain's COVID-19 task force aims to support all initiatives considered in vaccine development by ensuring large-scale testing trials. The task force hopes to position the UK as the top leader in the pharma research. The team has representatives from government, private industry, academia and from organizations of AstraZeneca and Wellcome Trust. The task force will support progress across all stages of vaccine development and at pace. It will back Britain's most promising research, positioning the UK as a leader in clinical vaccine testing and manufacturing. The task force will coordinate with regulators to facilitate trials which are both rapid and well supervised. And it will work with industry in the UK and internationally, so we're in a position to manufacture vaccines at scale. This will build on the Prime Minister's announcement last month of a further £210 million for CEPI, the international fund, to find a vaccine. The Boris Johnson government has adopted five-fold strategy to fight the coronavirus outbreak across the UK, starting from reinforcing NHS staff to meeting increasing demands at the front line. Alok Sharma, Business Secretary of the British government, said that they were doing everything in their capacity to contain the virus. Britain is also enforcing strict lockdown measures to avoid the second peak of the virus spread. The British government has also extended the country's lockdown measures for another three weeks, but the government has come under heavy criticism for enforcing the social guidelines at a much later stage of the pandemic. As of now, UK's COVID-19 cases has surpassed 108,000 and the lethal virus has killed more than 14,000 people. Over 18,000 people the in the here. UK are also undergoing treatment for the virus infection.